Hello, I'm going to run a bench test of uh, this little uh, power plant for a steamboat that I'm building. Um, the steamboat is about a little over a foot long, made out of sheet metal. The power plant consists of a two-cylinder single-acting engine and a very small horizontal boiler. Um, the boiler is made out of a one-inch brass tube. It holds about a half a cubic inch of water and um, I've got it all uh, water in it and ready to go. Um, the boiler was originally designed for a little sterno tray. I'd put sterno in there and that would go in like that but uh, I want the engine to run a little bit faster so I'm designed a little alcohol lamp that fits inside and uh, sits in there like that. And it seems to um, create a little bit more power, uh, more steam. The boiler is designed with a steam line that runs up the smokestack and then back down and out the back so um, it tends to superheat the steam a little bit or at least uh, uh, heat it up better and uh, I'm going to sign out right now for a little bit uh, while the engine is heating up. Okay, the boiler uh, is coming up to temperature. You can start to see some little bubbles forming on the uh, exhaust of the engine. This engine is not a self-starting engine, so I have to give it a little bit of a spin. I've had a little bit of trouble with this engine. It seems like it wants to start up and uh, it, it sticks and you have to stop it and clean it out. And uh, many of the engines will run perfect the first time and some of them you have to tinker with them for hours on end to get them to work well. Not exactly sure. I imagine it's it's all in the tolerance of the uh, of the fit. Seems to be primarily the wet, the valves, the way the valves fit, that they stick sometime. This engine should run for about uh, oh, 8 to 10 minutes on the half a cubic inch of water.